everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be doing a try on review in mini haul for african mall um part of me is really pissed right now because i was about to edit this footage or what i thought was this footage and it was gone the first half before my battery died just disappeared from my memory card so if it seems choppy the second half is what i filmed the first go around and this is just the new stuff in the beginning but the majority of it got lost of course so i'm just gonna get right into the items that you'll see me wearing i'm gonna show them here and talk about what i liked and didn't like about them but also show what they look like on the review isn't all good it's not all bad but let's just get right into it so the first item you will see me wearing is this dress and my first con about this company was that two of the five items that I received were the wrong color. I was supposed to receive it in this color. I'm also going to show it on the model as well so that you can see what it looks like online versus what you actually get and how it actually feels. I'm going to talk about all that. So the first con was that it was the wrong color. I'll show what's the other wrong color in a couple of minutes. Um, I also thought that it should have been maybe a little more fitted at the bottom. It was a little loose. Um, but... Other than that, it fit well. I love orange camo, so this yellow camo is different, but I don't hate it. At first when I put it on, I was just like, eh, eh. but the more I had it on and it does complement my skin color, I liked it a lot. Um, another con to this company is that they don't have tags in the top. I'm going to show you the packaging that it does come in, but it does not have um, tags on the top. So I had to go back to my apparel days and like lay it out like, okay, well, this is bigger in the back so this must be the front or the bigger side must be in the back either way regardless i shouldn't have to figure it out americans put on their clothes based on the tag being in the back the tag wasn't in the back i was over that but i don't hate this dress i'll just throw it on whenever i'm just going out somewhere cute and short the next item was this two-piece set and I love these sets, especially for vacation. I originally thought that this was supposed to be more crop, but I love that they have the bra strap adjustments as well as the zipper back. But you'll see that I'm gonna twist it to where I wish it could fit, but that's more so on my behalf. I should have got a smaller size. Whenever I'm ordering from sites like this, I tend to get bigger sizes because Chinese sizing and our sizing, or not even Chinese, but Asian sizing and our sizing are two different things. But this one is pretty accurate, so that's something important to note if you're going to order from this website. The pants were not as fitted at the bottom, but again, I probably should have just got a shorter or a smaller size. But I did like that they had this in the front, and they were, they were high-waisted, so you can tie it and adjust it as you see fit. I just wish they were a little more tailored fitting. The next item is my favorite. It's this two-piece set. And I originally thought that it was shorts all around, but the back is a skirt. It's a skirt. And the top has some front detailing that I really do love. And it's unique to this piece. I haven't seen it all over Instagram like some of those outfits. And I hope this doesn't become one. I text Nate like, we got to go out so I can wear this this weekend. Um, so hopefully I wear it before it's all over the internet. <laughs> And it also has zipper back detailing. And one thing that I do want to say about all three of these pieces, they all feel like swimsuits. They have that material. So while it's good that it's not see-through, it feels cheap because it feels like swimwear material. But I'd rather that than something sheer and see-through. But that's also something to note if you're looking to buy this stuff. It has that swimwear feel. The next item is this bathing suit. And this was an absolute fail. I was supposed to get it in white. I wanted to wear it on my honeymoon, but I'm actually glad I didn't get it in white because I would have been even more disappointed. I was already like, eh, about it but to begin with because it was the wrong color. But these are supposed to be high-waisted. They're not high-waisted. Um, this detailing on the side is cheaply made, so I thought that it wasn't even laced right. The way it was fitting and laying was just all wrong. It's all bad. Um, like I said, it's not high-waisted. They have this detailing, which I don't know where it's supposed to lay, but it doesn't lay right. Um, the top looks a little saggy in the material area. It's no support. If I wet this in a pool, there's no telling what would happen. The lace overlay would probably be my saving grace, but this just was not what I was looking for. And obviously the main factor and the swimsuit that the model was wearing in the picture on the website are from two different places so yeah i will probably never wear this oh, cool. 
Oh, I see what they were trying to do. It was supposed to go across the front like that, but it, it just, it didn't work out. That did not work out. Just couldn't take that one seriously. Next is this little tank top. I love things that come down and tie around the waist. And it's almost not big boob friendly because of the straps. It just makes everything look like it's hanging. But it's easy to adjust and it does show some under boob, but that's preventable as well. You could just, you're going to have to pick a struggle. Either you're going to show a little bit of under boob and your straps are going to come up nicely. Or your straps are going to hang low, but everything is covered up underneath. And it has that nice tying detail that you can wear however you want. I love this shirt and I had a feeling that I would. Yeah, some stuff has tags in it with the sizing. Some doesn't. But none of the garments have tags in the neckline to show you what's the front and what's the back. And then last but not least is this top. And it can be worn with a strappy situation up underneath or you can wear a bandeau. Um, the strappy situation would either be a regular bra or um, a tank top. Either of the two. I kind of liked it with the straps just because it made it look like a shirt that had the cold shoulder detailing with the underneath. But you have options, but you definitely have to wear something underneath because it is, it is straight see-through. But yeah, I love this item as well. So if I had to pick, I would say my favorite items are, or the yes items period, were definitely the yellow two-piece, this outfit, or this top, this tank top, and then... I like the dress. I just wish it was in the right color. And then the two no-go items would be, unfortunately, this two-piece just because it was too big. But other than that, I love it. So it's not on the quality of the garment. It's just the sizing. And this was just a no across the board. That was the only item that was a no across the board. Overall, I would say that I would definitely order off of African Mall. I would just be careful of what exactly I'm ordering. If it's a one-piece and you can't go wrong, like as far as swimwear, then go ahead and get it. If it's more intricate as far as the design of the garment, then you want to be more careful with what you do and don't order. And always, always, always check out the reviews. See if a vlogger or YouTuber has ordered the item and tried it on and gave an honest review on it. That always helps, but I hope this does help you with the items that I have reviewed here today. Obviously, this is my favorite. I keep picking it up, showing it. <laughs> I'll be sure to leave all of the details for African Mall below, all of the links, any discount codes, etc. I hope this review helped. I didn't want to make it too long because whenever I'm looking for reviews on my shopping experience or somewhere where I'm looking about shopping, I just want to get straight to the point. I'm um, all about that so with that being said i hope you all enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one